Hey guys, Level Cap here, and today I am beyond excited to show you my brand new custom made Origin PC. I've been sponsored by Origin since 2013. They're a custom system builder, one of the most popular ones out there. A lot of big name YouTubers and other people are sponsored by them. You see their computers at events running lots of high end games. They're excellent custom system builders and a company I would absolutely recommend in terms of quality of build and customer service support. They have 24 seven customer support and the tech guys on the other end know their stuff. You can ask them any and every question about detailed PC building and PC troubleshooting, and they can help you out at any hour of the day. Now this build that Origin made me, not only is it shipped in their iconic wooden crates to prevent case damage and whatnot, but this build is so insane. I've asked for crazy builds before, but this one is my first water-cooled, custom overclocked build I've ever gotten from them. And it is an absolute monster. They managed to fit two water cooling radiators in a micro ATX case. I specifically requested some soft tubing with green liquid inside in case I wanna do any sort of modification after the fact. Soft tubing's a little bit easier to work with. And the hardware behind the liquid cooling system is absolutely insane. It's all custom overclocked by origin. We've got an Intel Core i9 9980XE. That's Intel's top of the line CPU. It's got 18 cores and it's overclocked. Great for gaming, great for work and production. Now I took these beauty shots before I topped off the reservoir system. So I actually cleaned up the air bubbles a little bit, which can crop up sometimes in shipping and stuff like that. So you just top it off with some distilled water and everything should look good. The GPU is a custom modified Nvidia Titan RTX. This is that step above the 2080 Ti, the insane version video card with a custom water cooling block on there, also overclocked significantly past its base clock speed. That is the fastest you will get when it comes to gaming GPUs. A lot of people ask why I don't go for SLI builds. For the most part, as a YouTuber, SLI can get in the way of recording software. It, it has potential for latency with certain games. In terms of production flow, getting games up and running as fast as possible, it makes sense for me to go for the fastest single card system instead of SLI. And so that's exactly what I did here. The motherboard is the top of the line EVGA X299 Micro 2. We've got 32 gigs of DDR4 RGB RAM, a two terabyte Samsung 970 Evo uh, M2 drive. You can barely see it hidden behind the video card there. We've got a thousand watt EVGA Supernova G3 power supply unit hidden behind the shroud. We've got four Corsair RGB premium fans on the radiators. These have maglev technology, so they're extra quiet. And then the case is the Origin PC Neuron case in black, and it's got the custom UVHD printed panel, which is awesome. I love that Origin does that. You can either pick from pre-made designs or you can have your own custom design added to your PC case. Now, let's talk about real world performance. The two games that I'm playing at the moment are Division 2 and Battlefield 5. Both fairly intensive games in terms of GPU and CPU requirements. Division 2 is probably a bit more intensive in terms of just needing insane hardware to max out that FPS. I'm playing it at 1440p resolution on ultra graphic settings, and I'm easily topping 100 frames per second. You can see the frame counter in the upper left-hand corner there. The game looks absolutely stunning. It plays so smoothly and so crisply. I have turned off a few things like motion blur and V-Sync and stuff like that just for my personal preferences. Um, but everything else is absolutely maxed out. And it, it really is just an absolute pleasure to play this game. Not only is Division 2 a, a great game in general that I would highly recommend to anyone, but it's also just one of the best looking games I've ever seen. When you get outside in Washington, D.C. at any time of day with these realistic shadows being cast and dirt and debris everywhere, it just looks absolutely gorgeous. And uh, this, this system runs it faster than I think anything else out there can run it. It just looks stunningly beautiful. 
And certainly this system is capable of playing the game at 4K resolution as well. If that's something you're into, I might even do a video in the future talking about 4K gaming versus 1440p gaming. Now that we're in an area where we have the computer power to actually run 4K gaming at high enough FPS, we can actually look at the viability of doing that from either a story-driven game or even a competitive first-person shooter perspective. Now, Division is a great game to show off your computer horsepower because you can crank the graphics up and just really sit back and enjoy it. But what about a game where I feel like I need to play around with the visual settings to get maximum performance because I'm going to be playing it more competitively? Battlefield 5. This has definitely been a bit of a system killer in terms of performance requirements. Certain maps like Devastation have historically been the heaviest hitting on my PC performance. So of course I fired up some rounds of Devastation using my custom configured graphic settings. I'm still playing at 1440p. I've got the frame capped at 144 frames per second. And I've got a mixture of low, medium, and high graphic settings to strike a nice balance between performance and visual quality. And for the most part, my frame rate is just maxed out at that 144 frames per second. Now coming from a system that was already running an 8700K overclocked with a 2080 Ti also overclocked, it was already a beast of a computer, but this one is pushing things even further. Previously with the same graphics setup, I was getting around 110 FPS on average. I've boosted my FPS by about 30 with this insane overclock system upgrade. Now, of course, I had to start up some Firestorm and really test out what this game would feel like with just such a buttery smooth system. Before, Firestorm was playing pretty darn well on my old PC. Now it is just perfectly buttery smooth. Never, not even once does the frame rate drop below 144. I forgot to put the frame counter up in the recording software here. I've got stream evidence though, backed up on Facebook showing my gameplay. I got three solo wins in under two hours. It was just an absolute pleasure playing on such a high-end PC in Firestorm. I even upped the graphics a little bit, and when I uncapped the frame rate, because I was having it capped at 144, it went up to 200 FPS, and for the most part, stayed there, every now and then dipping down to the 170s or 160s, and then usually back up to 200. So, yeah, Firestorm well-optimized, this computer can absolutely beast it, no problem. Again, this is at 1440p resolution. I have a feeling if I really wanted to start tinkering with the visual settings and whatnot, I could plug in my 4K monitor and start playing Firestorm at 144 FPS as well. Another nice thing about this system, which is really good if you're a YouTuber, is that the noise output is pretty darn low, especially with a liquid cooling system and some maglev fans. This thing really doesn't produce much noise at all, so it's good for recording and gaming simultaneously. Sure, it's going to generate a bit of heat once it really gets going, but there's no getting away from that with high-end hardware when it's overclocked. Now, one of the coolest things about getting a new system or a major system upgrade is just going back and playing games that you've played before, but just seeing how much better you can make them look. One game that I'm really excited to get into and test out is the latest Star Citizen client build. It's going to have procedural city planets, and I can't wait to see what this gaming computer can do on that. Probably a future video uh, coming up on that one, guys. Now, I got to give Origin PC another massive shout out for this build. It is such a cool looking build, such a high quality build, and the overclocking and speed of it is insane. This is by far the most insane computer I've ever had. Obviously, modern hardware is faster than older hardware, but in terms of just where this computer stands at its current place in time, it is just above and beyond anything I've ever had, and it is awesome to see it just rock the FPS of everything that I throw at it. Uh, it's been a pleasure to watch Origin PC grow as a company. They're absolutely massive now, and they deserve it. They're a great company. They've got a great CEO and a great just quality standard and passion for games. Everybody at that company seems to be into games. And it was really fun playing Battlefield on a live stream as they showed off my PC on their end. All of their guys like to play games and enjoy games. And it's just cool working with a company that's really passionate about what they do. If you guys want to buy an Origin PC for yourself, again, I highly recommend it. Use the link in the video description. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing off.